There's another pen of the two-year-olds. Again, I'm here at I'm Clay and the Hobbits here at Acres Farms. Uh, they're bull cell and they're, they're female cells today. If somebody's looking at this video and not concerned about trucking, shipping, I can coordinate that. I can get pretty good deals on trucking. I know a lot of people that are in the, in that industry. Uh, so I'm going to walk these bulls out now. The, again, these two-year-olds, I've got some yearlings over there, another group of two-year-olds over there, just videoed. So, second group of two-year-olds. You can probably tell I'm doing this by myself, just walking the bulls out, looking for the numbers. Uh, 135. OCC Paxson of a Dixie American a donor cow. Love the Paxsons. The bull really breathed a lot of meat to the cattle. Love those Paxsons though. They're always my type of bulls. Little meat wagons. Pretty made, clean for shoulder, just Real nice. Bulls 135 of Paxson, son. 135. <laughs> I'm correct. 135 is a Paxson broadside. Paxson have a broadside cow. And again, I'll include a link to their the catalog. This 134 is actually a Paxson uh, Dixie Erica cow. 134. Hey. Hey. Again, the genetics on these, if you ever use these oldie type bulls or, you know, Griswold, Stewart, Oldie, you know, Keneally, it's all the same deal, it's all came from Oldie. Uh, they breed them deep ribs, soggy mate, easy fleshing, moderate frame bulls that thrive, not just survive on grass. I've sold these bulls from out west all the way to south Texas and they love them. Uh, moderate framed, Cavanese bulls, but they got some back end potential grow and Look how long this dude is. It's kind of, you don't need a tall, lanky bull. You need a short, beefy, beefy bull, big rib areas, soggy middle kind of bulls. And the bulls, again, they develop on grass, not a bunch of feed ration, build a hot, make them big and fat, and they fall, fall apart in your pasture. Anyway, anyway, 130, 130. OCC Milton of an Ankeny cow. 130. Hey, hey, bull. You should probably tell these bulls are gentle. I don't want to walk. Come on, bull. Bull them 130. One thirty three. That's one thirty six there. Prototype. Prototype son. One thirty three is another Paxson. One thirty three is another, another stout Paxson son. Walk on bull. These bulls are gentle, aren't they? Hmm. I love about this bull. Chunk full of meat. If somebody wanted to occupy put a, a nice package of these packs packs and bulls together and they're all, you know, all the same bull. It'd really be a pretty cool deal. 133. He's a Paxson son. Hey. Again, if you have heifers with your cows. No, no problem. You can duck your heifers or cows. All doesn't matter. These bulls will all be low birth weight, but yes, they'll have some back end, you know, thickness and grow. So you can use these bulls on your mature cows or on your heifers. Bull number one thirty two again. Uh, another packs, another packs and son one thirty two. Right, so bulls are such good dispatch, they're all piled up together, but you know, they're, they're nice beefy bulls. They're all the same kind of pattern, you know. Again, there's lots of good Paxons in this group right here. Mm. Bulls again. 134, 130, 
two. They're all Paxtons. Not actually correct at 130 is a Milton. But you, you get my drift, they're all the same type. 133 again. Another Paxton, so 133.